The sport of rowing has been around since ancient Egyptian times. It's not a sanctioned high school sport in the state of Washington, but there are several clubs across the Northwest producing top junior rowers. In this week's Prep Zone, Chris Egan traveled to Lakewood to meet up with a couple of members of the Commencement Bay Rowing Club, who will compete for some historic programs in the near future. On a sunny spring day, American Lake can be a paradise for some. Shake it off, shake it off. A workplace for others. Go! Order. There are some really hard days where I know that me, I wanted to, you know, stop for a while. <laughs> but 17 year old Vanessa Faker rode on. Six days a week in the water, dedicating herself to a sport where she says the good days far outweigh the bad ones. The first day I came out, it was freshman year in the spring, I fell in love with it. Four years later, the passion is still there for the senior from Washington High. It's really what drives me in all aspects of my life and it just kind of shaped who I am today. Rowing is just an incredible thing you can do that not for a sport, but it just helps you in all aspects of life. Max Besler, a senior at Bellarmine Prep, had played soccer his entire life, but got involved with crew two years ago. It's this whole idea of just like, you can expect how you're gonna perform on a given day if you do the certain amount of things you need to. So just having that mindset, and it's just great because it also gives you so much feedback. Um, and I just love a good workout too. Just that feeling of like exhaustion after just a hard practice is just like something that can't be beat. Max and Vanessa are hoping to lead their boats to the Junior National Championships. While they've both excelled in the sport, they also know it takes a total team effort to succeed in crew. Your teammates in your boat are very important and you all need to be together and motivate each other to do well or else just one, if there's even one person who's not really feeling it that day, that whole boat's going to know. They need to learn to coordinate and work together in order to um, uh, achieve boat goals, team goals, um, uh, to, to, take it, to take it to the next level. At the end of the day, the boat only goes as fast as the slowest kid. Yeah. And so it's really on the job of everybody to bring up whoever might be a, the slowest person. Next year, Max will row for Dartmouth while Vanessa is headed to the University of Washington. UW was my dream even before I knew about rowing. When I sat down in the office with the coach and she offered me to verbally commit, I was just like, are you kidding? Of course I'll verbally commit right now. And she was like, oh wow, you're the first one who said it that fast. I was like, well, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Great feeling to have them uh, continue it on um, at the uh, college level, uh, which is not easy. And, um, you know, they've learned uh, some things here uh, in high school, uh, but they've got, uh, they've got a long road ahead of them of learning more, and it's great to have them uh, continue on. In Lakewood, Chris Egan, King 5 Sports. Is tired just listening to her and watching them. All right, when they're not in the water, Max and Vanessa are busy helping to lead their schools. Max is Bellman Prep student body president, and Vanessa is the senior class president at Washington. A couple of talented wow. kids right there. They sure are. They, mm -hmm. So athletic, so yeah. powerful too.